Welcome back to Prey. It's time to continue on into the guts. Morgan, where are you going? You won't be able to use Alex's escape pod without... Wait, who are you? Please identify us. Yeah, get him, January. I, at least I assume that was January. Morgan, this is January. That operator was an earlier defective model. Or something worse. Alex, the Typhon, they're all working against you. Trust yourself. Trust the video you made. We need to get the arming keys and destroy Talos 1 before it's too late. Or maybe January's the fake one. Plot twist. safe. Laurel, there comes a time in every man's life when he looks towards the future. Our fu- Erase remarks. Laurel, would you do me the honor of accepting this proposition of affection and stupid stupid- <laughs> And the flowers. I'm trying to write a love letter. Guts of subsection 19. Parts are on the way. Whoops. The electrical fault is still an issue in subsection 19. When will replacement electrical components be available so I can finally get this repair underway? Do you understand I cannot leave the subsection offline at all times, correct? Meanwhile, having to navigate around fan vents is not ideal. locked. Let's fix that. No. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. utility tunnel system. Microgravity detected. Still don't know what that was exactly. Some sort of gravity field. Oh, EMP charge fabrication plan. Nice. I love the music. These tunnels run the entire length of the station, mostly conduit carrying the bare necessities. Power, water, air. But operators also use it to deliver supplies from the cargo bay up to the Arboretum. Given the small number of crew assigned here, I would expect Typhon presence to be minimal as well. But that's probably a bad assumption.
can just carry this? Huh. I mean, I guess it is no gravity. Oh shit. Fuck are those things? Whoa. That looks dangerous. I bet that's sharp. Those weird flaming things. What happened to them? Did it die? Don't know. Seems dead. Can't hit it, also can't loot it. nest. Weakness none, immunity none. Okay, those nests are certainly gonna burst, right? The outer layer of each cystoid nest appears to be made of an exceptionally thin layer of the same material that makes up most typhon. Indeed, the nest appears to be just as fragile as the cystoids themselves, making it less of a protective structure and more like a living mine. It's possible that the weaver uses these to mark and even defend its territory from any kind of intruder. Initial scans reveal they are constantly leaking lethal levels of radiation. Ooh. Steer clear unless you want radiation sickness or a swarm of cystoids after you. Gotcha. Right, well those ones... Those ones are right where I need to go, so I don't think I can avoid them. them? <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, they died. I just don't know if I did it or if they just blew up themselves. Oh, there's another one. Uh, okay, I guess someone's been active or something. Unfortunately, they don't drop anything. You know, they might be super easy to kill with the laser beam. Imagine a quick drag across them would probably explode them. Oh yeah. 
nice. Okay, so even if you blow up the nest, they don't blow up from within. They still come out and then you have to deal with them. Oh man, that took a lot of my charge though, just doing that. I've already used point, like, point 0.4 of my ammo and I've only started with 2.3. Radiation. Crap, is it too late? Nope, no, I'm good. Just want to get close enough to scan him. Okay. I'm not sure if it's the radiation that hurt me or because I got super close. <laughs> I forgot what the key was. Oh, I guess this is it. Wait, where is it? I don't see it. Eh, yeah, whatever. Oh, so I gotta blow it up if I wanna get rid of its radiation. Alright. Suck me towards it. Can it suck me towards it? Isn't there no air in here? How do fans work in, like, airless environments? Do they work at all? I feel like I should be able to answer that, but I can't. Hmm, what if you didn't know the password? I mean, I don't, but like, what if you couldn't hack it either? What would you do? It just stopped time. God, that's so many of them. I didn't mean to combat time, I bet. I really don't mind wasting tons of this pistol ammo. Let's look at that research. Research, there it is. It's fortunate the weaver produces so many of these because keeping cystoids alive for long outside of those nests has proven to be exceptionally difficult. 
Despite the lack of any visible sensory organs, each cystoid seems capable of detecting, detecting us through unknown means, detonating on proximity. If we can figure out what it uses to see, we may be able to find a way to blind it long enough to get a closer look. Attract it to movement. Throw something to distract them. Try to group them up to take them out with fewer shots. Releases a burst of radiation on death. Okay. Well, let me find something to throw. Uh, mm, what about this? Oh, that's a girder. Can I pick up this? Yes. Let's observe. Yeah, look at him go. Oh. Oh. It doesn't just distract them, but it seems to actually cause them to explode because I guess they think it's alive or something. I think that's what happened. Well, that's very useful. What else can I throw? There's really not much around here. How about this? Wait, where'd he go? Come back! Oh wait, it's got loot. I guess I should probably trigger the nest, huh? Come on. Maybe it's not moving fast enough. So if I just move very slowly, would I be able to get past him? They seem attracted to each other, they just always group together. <laughs> That's so cool. Pieces of broken glass. Can I bump them? Ah, oh, no, I can't. Oh! That one did. Hidden ones. Hmm, can I start up that fan blade somehow? I don't know how I'd do that. I guess I'll trigger him and throw some at him. noise. I guess I'll just throw it first. Hmm. Didn't get them all. I'm scared to move. 
nice and slowly. What else can I pick up? Yes, this. Perfect. Calendar. Oh, that's really fast. Look at that. There's a nest somewhere. Where? I don't know, but there's supplies down there. No, come back! Oh, damn it. I think that's all that's down here. Definitely go through there, but I'm curious what's down here. There must be another nest, but there's gotta be something good too, right? Um, I need- hold on. I need something to throw. I've got anti-rad meds, it'll be fine. Oh, is it that one? Oh! Be able to do it from here. <laughs> I think the last one blew up from the shock, maybe. Oh, did that just take me through? Oh, it did. Repair my suit, please. Oh! What the fuck was that? Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake, I'll be fine. Blood globules.
Ooh. Aww. Is this like a love note? Flowers, wine. Laurel, hope you like the flowers. Next time we meet down here, let's wait until we're out of microgravity before opening the champagne. <laughs> or not. They did end up writing it. And now your love will be turned into natural materials to be processed down into cubes and then turned into something like a medpack. Is that the champagne? Access. See Andrew's client in the magnetosphere control room. Objective's been updated. Press key card. Magnetosphere control room has access. Okay, where? How do I get to the magnetosphere? Is there an objective marker I'm not seeing? Oh. Magnetosphere. <laughs> oh, for some reason, I didn't even... I, I kind of didn't pay attention to the name, but also I read this as like a glass window or something that was covered. I can just go in here, can't I? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Nice, no more twisting. Take shelter, does it hurt me? Blangley! Hey, what's the matter? He's. He's dead! Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders! I tried to call security, I tried. Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley! Right. Laurel, take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flaking on us. I don't know what happened exactly, but there was a pulse. I think it cooked him in his suit. God, I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the Arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Okay, got it. Listen, just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm going to find Chief Elazar. We'll get a security team your way ASAP. Yep, definitely not behaving as it's intended to. Haha! -ha, three! This will be my first use of my hacking three. I hope I get a lot of time. Because I'm going to have three things to get. Huh. 
That wasn't too bad. Hold on, can I just like turn this? Hmm, I mean, I shouldn't turn it off, right? Let me just save first. Warning, magnetosphere deactivated. Solar radiation exposure at maximum. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Like, am I gonna die in a couple seconds, or what? Oh, I... Okay, so it's, it's a timer. That's for, I guess, for me to probably get inside and get to the body and stuff. Just temporarily shut it down. Magnetosphere activated. I was hoping to turn it off so it wouldn't be so loud when I'm reading these emails, but I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. Grants access to the emergency supply compartment within the magnetosphere chamber. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. Right, well, I think it just opened up some sort of an access panel. I think that one? Yeah. So, emergency supplies in there. Shield generator malfunction scale and frequency of the magnetosphere's plasma release pulses have been steadily increasing to unsafe levels. We're currently investigating potential causes and fixes at the present scale that effects are interfering with nearby electronics and the stability of the station shielding. All personnel should consider guests to be in emergency state until further notice. I'm trying to do this quick before it starts making noise again. Shut down. I'll be heading up tomorrow to work with the magnetosphere generator during second shift. Please be ready to have the machine shut down. Also, let's remember to turn it back on. Uh, Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. Remember to turn it back on this time. We don't need another radiation scare. We're running out fine. I found your gift in the crawl space over my control room, but not before I accidentally kicked it under some pipes, which means I can't reach it. It's dark up there. Please don't worry about making the security kit here. If anything happens, I'll be ready. Oh, that's between Eric and Laurel. No, you can't just stay safe. Things are stirring more than usual around here. And that's a lo oh, that's Laurel. Aww. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Take a brief respite from that noise. Spend the upgrade kit on the laser gun. Q beam. Actually, I don't know if I want to spend it on that. Ah, whatever. Fine. I can move faster while shooting it. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three. Two, one. Warning. Magnetosphere deactivated. Solar radiation exposure at maximum. Okay. Gonna have that computer do that while I mess with this computer. Josh Dalton, MIA. Sean, Josh Dalton hasn't shown up to his workstation for three days. Ooh, new objective. We're falling behind on the black box project due to his absence, and Lane's uncooperative. I'd rather not get Thorstein involved. Please let me know if you have any information. Just Dalton's tracking bracelet has him in the guts. Have you seen him? She'll generate a malfunction. Oh, and that's just the same general thing that we've seen before. General notice. Okay, um... I'm sorry, I totally blanked on the person's name. Josh Dalton. Apparently, they were last seen in Guts. Yeah, they don't seem to be listed in the crew. Maybe because they're working on something top secret? Go 
recycler charges. Nice. I must have like 50 spare parts at this point. No, 49. Plasma shockwave imminent. Oh, I think this poor thing's gonna explode. It's probably gonna fall to the ground, right? Yeah, aww. Oh, but it's okay. Rising Stars, excerpt from article Sizzle Report by Layla Sky. Antonia Froka, star of the summer blockbuster Transgressions, did all of his own death-defying stunts in the film. This eccentric A-lister has played the action star in a dozen films and now, after a long hiatus, has returned in better form than ever. Witness Froka swinging from a crane in our exclusive teaser clips online. Froka has been cavorting with the stunning Cindy Sinclair. Ten celebs that defy aging! Vacations in space! Excerpt from Book 2 The Starbender Cycle by Fetcher McMarvin. As the Mordra scream flare crumpled to the ground in front of her mercy flexed her fingers, they ached from all the choking. I've already read this, haven't I? Yeah. What's that? I saw you. <laughs> Hidden behind a roll of toilet paper. Well, I've already hacked it. Whoa, I saw a nest pop up for a second. Warning. Plasma <laughs> hmm. Warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in. Okay, so I can't just throw an object in low gravity. I don't know if throwing an object at all would work if it's not going to keep moving. Since I'm not in low gravity, or no gravity rather. Maybe my only real thing I can do is just shoot it. Five, four, three, two, one. Don't know. I'm gonna try shooting them and then I'm just gonna throw this box in. Are they. Oh. Right. I guess they can't fly when they're. They can only fly and, and move around like that when they're in no gravity. Here they just roll on the ground. Aha! Warning, seek shelter, plasma shockwave in. That's <laughs> so cool, so it still works. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Let's go turn it off and enter the chamber. Warning, magnetosphere deactivated. Solar radiation exposure at maximum. Microgravity detected. Oh, Anders Klein. That's what I needed. Propulsion Gen 1, what's that? Is that a chip, or is that the thing I already have? Oh, it increases the glide speed. Nice. Okay, there's probably nothing in here other than the emergency supplies up here, so let's just get them real quick and get out of here. Another far scan. Even further scan. Three Psy Hypos. Alright, let's get the hell out of here.
<sighs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Time for EMP charge. Ah, oh, crap. I think it's time for another EMP charge. Ah, oh, crap. No, screw you. Ah. What? Hmm, somehow it got me. Warning, plasma shockwave imminent. And then you. Warning, seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five. Four, Where did my little friend go? Three, two, one. Oh. <gasps> no. Poor thing. I didn't mean to shoot at the clue. So how do I get in here? Usually there's a back entrance that takes you around, so this makes me think that maybe there's... Like, maybe if I use an explosive, it'll open up. I don't know if those explode. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. No. Warning. It's gonna be an explosive. Here we go. Plasma shockwave in... 5... 4... 3... 2... 1... There must be another way in there. Don't see anything up there. Probably. Whoa. What's happening? Don't let them do this to you. It's in shock. That's lending further support to my my idea based on that one. Uh, audio log that this Morgan's actually a Typhon that's been given Morgan DNA and stuff it's in shock sort of like a flood of memories flood of Morgan's memories Typhon ecology appears to be centered around the creation of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Beautiful. But we're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment cylinder. Until now. So it is called coral. Oh, great. Crest. Ah, crap, crap, crap. That's radiation. It looked enticing, but wrong kind of enticing.
so quiet. It's eerily quiet. Oh Christ. That's a weaver, isn't it? Yep, and it's coming towards me. It's coming towards me very, very, very fast. Okay. No wave transmitter and shotgun. Did that no wave transmitter do anything? The hell was that? Holy shit! Is it coming back? I think it is. Come back here. Ah, oh, it's trying to get away. Got it. And I'm taking horrible radiation. Go! Oh. This is to maintenance tunnels, psychotronics. That's where I just came from, right? Isn't it? I don't know where the hell I came from anymore. There's so many different pathways I could go, too. I wonder if they actually really lead anywhere. I think this is where I'm supposed to go, though. Arboretum. Need something to throw. Let's grab some explosive. Sweeten the deal. has been compromised. I repeat, the power plant has been compromised. It's about time, Sam. Chief, I'm not a comm tech. I'm doing the best I can. Micah, this is Security Chief Elazar. Can you hear me? Sarah? Yes, I can hear you. Been trying to patch into the PA. My team's in the cargo bay, and those things are in here too. They're crawling all over the station. Check everything around you. Hit it with a wrench. Check the wrench first. Sam? He's right. These things... Smash every freestanding thing and see if it comes back at you. Get to a secure area, and when you're safe, call me via transcribe. I'm sending you a secure contact. Alright? Understood. I left my transcribe in the coolant monitoring station. <laughs> Heading there now. I can load myself in. Are you okay? I'm just catching my breath. Sarah, can you tell me what happened? Micah, get safe. Then call. It's nice to hear other people's voices, aside from Alex. Sis Siskak eels. Apparently this is a shipment of eels that 
Oh yeah, that's what these <laughs> these things are. Shipment of eels that exploded. Excerpt from Quarterly Employee Newsletter, Transtar Life. In this edition of Transtar Life's Rising Star Segment Profile, Harley Granger. Um, I think I already read this. Yeah, Professional Baseball Days. Yep, I read that in the sales department. Arboretum. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head to the Arboretum.